Welcome back everybody to Let's Play Clock Tower. Uh, something, we're starting off a little bit different today. Um, I've been trying to finish Clock Tower now for two days and I'll show you what keeps happening. If I go to files, go to my videos, now you can see that is where I tried to um, complete the final act and that video won't render it runs fine but it won't render uh... where's the other one fifty five that's the other one when that this is the original take i did um, of clock tower and i cannot get this video to process it just will not have it which is kind of annoying because this was the full one hour take that i spent going through the game um, but for whatever reason i've tried for two days now to get this to render it gets to about 98 97 percent and then whatever render I'm using whatever video editing software it just crashes and says the files no good so I'm gonna have to do the game again not the whole game just the final chapter uh, but I just want everybody to be aware that um, the reason that I seem to be quite good at this chapter and we're running off the CD which I don't want to do the reason that I might appear to be so good at this chapter is actually because I've now done it four times at least four times I might add um, so yeah so let's without any further BS start the game and see if we can get back to where we was. Uh, you'll see now I also have loads of saves. I've also drawn a map. Uh, I was so stuck I drew a map. I didn't want to use a walkthrough. It came close, I've got to be honest. But I resisted. I resisted the walkthrough. I thought, no, this is what makes these old games so great. We didn't have the internet back then to look up various things, so I'm not going to do it here. And I managed to get a B rank. Now, since I've redone it, I've managed to get an A rank, and I actually know relatively well how to get an A rank. So let's do that now. But it's, yeah, it's really annoying, to be honest. In fact, I don't think I have a save. This could be irritating. Let's load that one. Where's this? Hmm. Yeah, that's here. Bugger. I really don't know what to do. I'm probably going to have to run through the entire game again. Um, right, jump cut here, and I'm going to fix this problem. Okay, jump cut. Um, yeah, so I'm back. Uh, basically, I've just had to replay through the whole game because I didn't have my save so I got back here in 46 minutes which isn't too bad I guess right now I've got relatively pro at this final section so um, yeah it, it's gonna be more of a walkthrough guide than um, anything normal but that's okay right so let's see what we have and it is un outrageously hot today. <sighs> we have a frickin' big castle. It's actually not that big to be fair. So, the first thing we want to do is to go up here. Oh. What? Hang on. That was quick. Okay, let's go up here. I. I don't know many save points. I always call them save points. I don't know many safe um, 
rooms or any many hiding spots. Uh, namely two come to mind. This one, which I don't know if you can use it once or twice. Ah, he's coming from there. Okay. Come on, you little bastard. Now we're going to ready this. Now this made me laugh like hell the first time I saw it. I thought she was hiding behind it. There you go. Nap time, matey. Now we run like fuzz. <clears throat> and, magically, we can go back into the room and he should have buggered off. Yep, sweet. So there's a key here. No, there isn't a key here, but you have to search here. And there's a mouse. Made me jump out of my skin the first time. So we need to follow this mouse for some reason. There's a mouse hole. Yeah, there's something in the mouse hole. So we need to move this and that will give us our first key. I don't know why there's a key in the mouse hole. That's the library key. Okay. Now we can't do anything with that yet. So let's exit here for now. Mm, we are going to go through that door next. That door, of course, is the one we came in. Now, I was lost for ages and ages doing this. I was going around here for hours. This is one of the things I missed. There's a key right here. And it took me bloody ages to find this. There's something on the table. It's a key. Now, that is a really bloody important key. Now, sometimes Scissor Man jumps out of that, so that's quite funny when he jumps down that chimney. What do we have? Let's have a look. Okay. So we need to go through this door, I think. Yes. So we need to search in this bed. Very important item in this bed. A book is on the bed. Well observed. Now check this out. Look at that. That is a copper um, book. So that must be heavy as fuck. Okay, so we want to search this drawer next. And, oh my god! So we need to mash the buttons like hell. I'm still not 100% sure what buttons we have to mash. There we go. Now I was stuck here for a while till Nikki pointed out that maybe there's something on the table that we need to stab it with. You little bastard. There we go. So we've now searched a spell that a spell to exercise the devil til children is concealed in the fireplace. Okay. Exercise the devil children. That's it. Yes, that is it. Now, if we go through this door here. Very important. No, I'm wrong. Okay. Well, this is the kitchen, and we need to go through here. Search these because you can use these to give Scissor Man a walloping. It's actually quite funny. A stew pot. Hellish stew pot, I might add. Yep, there we go. Now let's search this door. I don't know what that noise is she's making. Look at him strolling out there, bold as brass. Harris, don't scare me like that. What's up? Did you find anything? Not yet. No. Well. Oh well. It's a good looking place anyway, quite relaxing. Really? It's a death trap, you idiot. What are you saying? Scissor man is lurking around here somewhere. Slap some sense into him. 
It's just a hunch, but I don't think he's after me. Because he is after you. Yes, he is. Thank you. We already knew that. Oh, I found this key a while ago. You can have it. Oh, thank you. I wonder which door it opens. Yeah, I wonder too. God, the voice acting's so odd. You'd better find a way to kill Scissor Man soon. We will, don't you worry. Now he buggers back off into that room, but he's not actually in that room, which is quite strange. Now the key he gave us, we don't want to use. If you use that key, I'll explain as we come to that location. Jennifer dies, and there's nothing we can really do about it. So let's go back through this door. I gotta try and think what to do now. Um don't want to open that y just yet. So let's go through here. Now this takes us to what I've called the green room. Which is an out... Oh, shite. Um, okay. That doesn't always happen. In fact, I haven't seen that happen before. Run! Um, shit, shit, shit. Crap. Uh this... no. This way? Is this the way that I'm hoping it is? No, it isn't. Arse. Um, right. Keep going, keep going. Come on! Come on, Helen, run! She really has got no fucks to give. Um, think, think, think. Right, we're gonna go down... Oh, move a bit faster, love. Right, so we're gonna go through this door, which isn't the door we actually want to go through, um, and then, this, this is the other safe spot I know, this seems to work 100% of the time, come on you dumbass, now we're going to run through here, and oh my shit, there we go, you have to mash the buttons, but he will always fall into the sea, sky, whatever that is down there. I assume it's the sea. He will always fall into that. So that's always safe. So let's... Yes, we need to go into this room. Because now... Now we've seen Beth, we can save her. We need to speak to her. If you don't find a character, they die. Um, so the first time I played this, I got the B rank, and I think I saved five people. Second time I did this, I got the A rank, and I saved six people. Then last time, the one that I cannot get to encode, I saved all seven people. Beth, and got an A rank. Are you all right? Helen, everyone's lost. No one seems to be too bothered, do they? Hang in there, Beth. Oh, she's fine. I want to look around some more. I don't want to look around. To still about here? But we have no choice. The key to defeating Scissorman is here somewhere. Hopefully. I've got to find it. I'm pretty sure we will. Beth, you should stay here. Yeah. You've got to be joking. I'm not going to leave left alone again. I'm going with you! No, you're bloody well not. Okay, so you if you don't talk to her again, she'll follow you outside and then she'll be killed. Um, but if you talk to her again, Beth, you can tell listen. her to stay here. And then she survives. Superman does not care how many people there are. No, he doesn't. We have a better chance of being rescued if we split up. I spent so many hours with this game over the last couple of days, it's unreal. For essentially a game that's an hour and a half long. A way to kill uh, I must be must have been playing it about ten, Wait. fifteen hours in total. Whew. All right. Good girl. Stay there because you're gonna live, Get damn it! Back, won't you? Yes, we will maybe. But you are going to live. So what do we have? We ha right, yeah, this is another thing that had me scratching my noggin for a while. 
We've just found out that in the fireplace, there's a kitten screaming, in the fireplace there is the key to defeating him to exercise the devil children. Um, and it is in this fireplace here. However, it's not as easy as you might think. It's not just a case of having a look. It's too dark to see well. Now, if you want to see... Oh, crap. I've ballsed that up, haven't I? Well done, me. Well done. Right, so we're going to save it, and I'm going to show you something quite funny. Um... Let's save it there. Yeah, let's see how long I was walking around this place. Well over an hour and a half I was walking around this castle the first time. So if we search that again, there's something back here, but it's too dark. Ah, oh my god! Ah! Scotty beams you up. And not in a nice way. I really don't understand that death, if I'm honest. I thought that was uh, very entertaining and very bizarre. I was like, what the hell? We've just been beamed up by Scotty. That should be called the alien ending. Um, but what we do need to do, we need to use the flashlight. And this thing bamboozled me for a while. You have to use the flashlight there. Oh no, the batteries are dead. Now, like a tit, I... Uh, how she packed to go on this adventure into an old castle and took a flashlight with dead batteries blows my mind. I am... Uh, I don't know how that ma how that happened, but uh, fair enough. This is what happens if you go to castles unprepared. Now, to get the batteries, we need to go through the green room. There we go. Hopefully, Lumpy's not going to appear. Nope. I think I'm going the right way. Yes. Now we can use our key here. Now, this is the key we found in the room with the fireplace I think. So let's go through this room. This is where we need to go next. Now, see that on the floor there? This irritated me. That is a Nolan's tape recorder and um, that obviously has batteries in it but you can't even pick that up unless you've already tried to use the um, the flashlight and found out that the batteries have dead were dead because I, I found this room originally first and that really frustrated me but now we know the batteries are dead we can take them there are batteries in here yes they are the right size or they bloody well better be we'll hammer them in somehow now in this chest we have a heavy ball sack. It's a really heavy ball sack. Okay, we now have the ball sack. Now, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to check this. Because there's something in here we want. Oh my god! It's what Nolan. Happened? What happened? He's been having a nap. Another lazy Ow. bugger. Are you all right? Damn. Somebody attacked me from behind. Bastards. My head is still throbbing. Oh, poor baby. Yeah, you sit there. Let's talk to him again. What about Jennifer? Have you found her? Not yet. No, not yet. That's okay. I'll help you look. Okay. He looks you really old. Her. Oh crap, no, 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 we don't want to go out there yet. Uh, because I'll just show you what's through this door. It's another dead drop. How surreal. 
Okay, so this is all we can do here. So, let's... It can be quite hard to get through that door. I'm sorry if all you can hear is meow, 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 meow. But we have load... Oh, crap. Snips is coming. Where's he coming from? Um... Damn it, damn it. Right. Hope is this this isn't the right room, is it? Ah, oh, no it's not, okay. Okay. We have the batteries. So let's drop a save. And I'm wondering if we can do the old um sheet trick again. Because we need to go back in that room anyway. So let's drop that save there. And run like buggery. Come on, Jennifer. Not even Jennifer, is it? Helen. Come on, Helen. Get through that door. I don't know if you can actually run far enough away from him that you actually lose him. Nope, there's no... Bollocks. Okay. There's no, um, sheet. Crap. So let's run down. We're going to use the old dead drop trick. Come on, Jennifer. I keep calling her Jennifer. I'm an idiot. Come on, Helen. Get through that door. All I can think about now is don't you open that trap door. Because there's something down there. That was awesome. If anyone used to watch Trap Door, you are officially godlike. Now, no, 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 no. Yes, okay, we can go through it now. Now, hammer the feckin' buttons. From what I... Like I said, from my experience... Oh, crap. We died too. I've never died on that trap until now. Okay. So let's load back to where we were. Now what I was saying is, from my experience, that never fails. Apart from that time where we fell to our deaths. Um, but that wasn't technically the trap's fault, that was me, I guess, doing something wrong. Okay, nice. He's still coming from the same-ish direction, so it should work. Come on, buddy. Not gonna wait forever. There we go, let's go. Now, I really don't know what I did wrong. Uh, I'm gonna hammer. I'm hammering. Yeah, nice. I don't know what I did wrong last time. Never mind, it doesn't matter. That time it worked, and that's all that matters. Let's go back to the bedroom, and now we have batteries in our torch. We should be able to get the um, another item. Very important item. Not sure if you can end the game without it, to be honest. Now we can use that there. Yay! There we go. There's a note stuck inside. It's in Latin. Words to open the door. Words to open the door. Maybe these words can be used to exercise Scissor Man. Oh, you're not far off there, my dear. Okay, so now I've got to think where we need to go now. We've done that. So back through here. Um. We're doing really well, actually. We're not that far away from the end. Let's check this room. Nice, it opened. That's always handy. Ah, sweet. Okay, so here we are. So we need to search this, because this is important. There are some worms cut. Uh, take the dry path when choosing amongst the three. I wonder what that means. Yeah, I that confused me for a little bit, but it makes perfect sense in a minute. 
Let's drop another save. I really don't want anything to go wrong. Um, <laughs> I'm hoping it's going to work this time. Otherwise, I'm not sure how... I'll work something out. I always do. First thing we need in here is there is a box there. A letterbox is on the shelf. I wonder if there's something inside. Now, this is a key item. You absolutely do need it. So that's how we get that. A small wooden box is inside. Strange, it sounds... I can't read that, I went too fast. Sounds like something is in this box, but there is no way to open it. There is a rattling sound, but there is no way to take the object out. You now have the wooden box. Now this had me perplexed for a while. And I actually read one of the tips... Um, that, that we unlocked earlier and it actually said to open the box you have to do something quite drastic and then it said wooden box so I eventually worked it out you got to throw it in here basically of course I could burn away the outer shell yep and that gives off some strange funky magic there is something inside a key was inside the small box. You now have the cosmetics key. I'm pretty sure that is an important item. You can't complete the game without it. I'm not 100% on that though. Okay, so you'll notice there is a book missing there. So we're going to put our copper book in it. There are many books with covers made of copper. There is one missing. So let's stick that in there. There are many. Ah, why is she not doing that? Is it because we have to search? Oh, maybe we have to search this. There are scratch marks on the floor made by something heavy being dragged across it. Not sure why we have to search that in order to put a book in the obvious slot, but there we go. Don't be scared of it, love. It's good for you. Let's have a look. Ah, yes. This is what you need the balls for. You need to drop these lead balls down here to determine the right path. I wonder how far down it goes. I should probably test it. See, that's pretty obvious. You've now dropped the lead ball down the shaft. Okay, so that's water at the bottom, so that's no good. Let's try that one. I wonder how far down it goes. There's also a hint that tells you that you've got to do this. So let's try that one. Nope. There seems to be water at the bottom. Okay, so that basically what that text meant was... Um, out of the three paths, take the dry one. So that's going to be the dry path. The shaft goes all the way down. Let's go. Listen to that, it's an epic ladder. Boom, 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 boom. That's scary stuff. So what do we have here then? I never... What what did we do wrong? Dead end. Hmm. I was going to say, I didn't get that cutscene thing before. What have I done wrong then? Do you have to drop a lead ball down there? I should probably test it, yep. Oh, that's oh, it's changed now. Seems to be water at the bottom. Uh, I never got that death before, so... Yep, go on. Sling one down there.
that's the dry one. Let's tr I don't think I've missed anything. Let's try that again. It's pitch dark, I can't see anything. Maybe use the flashlight? Maybe? Uh... Ah, look, now we can see. Yeah, this is more like it. I don't know what happened before, guys. I don't quite understand that. Doesn't matter. So up we go. Get up there. So this is where it leads to. So now we found Gots. Oh, listen to those bones crunch. Yo, teach. Oh, you're alive. He's just fucking chilling out there. Hey, what do you mean by that? He really doesn't give two shits. He's he, uh, he's just on another planet right now. He's been smoking something. Where is everyone? Aren't they with you? Scissor man attacked us and we all scattered. Okay. Oh, I see. What do we do now, Teach? Well, he really just, We've got to keep looking. He just really does not care, does he? Just chilling there in there a room full a of fucking bones. Somewhere. He's even sitting on a pile of bones. He just doesn't just uh, just another day. Yeah, interesting. That's why he's trying so hard to get in our way. Well, that may be, Helen. We don't know that for sure yet. Yeah. Then take this with you. <laughs> he's really. Yeah, maybe. I don't really care. Useful. A pistol. Thank you. What about you? It's okay. I've got another. Yeah, fair enough. He's come ready. Can you use it? Point yes. the barrel I at whatever you want training. to die. And pull that the trigger. You're an amateur. Don't call me names. Yeah, it really is this slow. But anyway, this will be real practice. Thank you. Thank you for those uh, words of encouragement. Okay. Yeah, oh, sorry, did I wake you? Mm. <laughs> he just... Oh, whoa. That is awesomely creepy. What was that? Just what you thought you saw. Yeah, he's not impressed. Probably the ghosts of all the kids killed here. Probably. How terrible. After Scissor Man, I ain't scared of no ghosts. Who are you gonna call? Helen. Um, okay, so yeah, he re he's checked out now. He really doesn't give two shits. The dialogue in this is so funny. Now, now we have one of the last items we need. Um, one thing I should mention, although we have a pistol, we can't actually use it on Scissor Man, which is kind of annoying. Uh, at least I should say, when he comes to get us, we can't use it on him. It's more of a key item that you can only use when needed, which is a bit of a shame. Although we know that it won't actually kill Scissor Man, because God shot the shit out of him before, but it would have been nice to be able to there? stun him. Ah. Jennifer? I haven't seen this bit before. Are you there, Jennifer? Helen? Helen? Yeah, don't worry. We're coming Jennifer. for you. It's no use. 
The door won't open. Bugger. Hold on, Jennifer, I'm coming. We are. However, we do have an unorthodox key here. Very handy. It's pretty much it's one of its primary purposes is to open this door. Boom! And the door is done. The padlock came undone. Okay. Right, let's go save our buddy. Oh, what's this? Hey! I like the way she has to take a double take there. Oh crap, okay, 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 okay. Let's get the piece. I have the power! Boom! There we go. So dramatic. Wait a minute. Did it hit him? Jennifer! But Scissor Man's immortal. There's a lot of funny sounds there. Yeah, she's cool. It's okay now. We've got the bastard. We got him padlocked. Wait here. Let's go, guys. Let's go finish this thing. Into this door. Hello. If it bleeds, we can kill it. Ah, you snaky bastard. Professor Barton. Why? How could you? Alan, mm. I told you when you first joined my seminar. You have There's always a danger of turning toward evil. Oh, I'll take your word for it. You'll have to bear with this bit, guys, because it is very slow. When you are researching criminal behavior. Yeah, what about it? What, you turn evil because you're doing a bit of research? I don't buy that, sunshine. I always remember that danger. Suddenly get the urge to slash your friends up and your workers up. I don't think so. What are you saying? It, it's ironic, isn't it? That I was drawn in by his evil soul. Okay. So is there a real scissor man or not? Helen, do you believe that you really have the strength? To keep it from happening to you? Absolutely. She is made of metal. Can you really deny that you are involved in this case because you wanted to be? Um, we were chased by you. You started trying to murder... Hang on. We didn't choose to be in this fucking situation. Maybe you too are attracted by the vast darkness. No. Our boss is trying to put scissors in I'm our back. Like you. No, we're not. Uh, yeah, I'm glad you're dead, you dick. Passing the buck. His head was so far up his ass, he suffocated. Right. How can he push the bl oh, I don't All right, know. Teach. He's okay. And the case is solved. Yep, we're done. Let's get out of here. It is not over yet. Oh. Whatever do you mean, Helen? The professor said he was drawn in by his evil soul. Yeah. His. In other words, the real scissor man is still alive. So you got that from that. Okay. 
It's not over until he is dead. Right, all right then. Gods, please stay with Jennifer. What about you? We know what we have I'm to do. I'm going to take another look around. I'm going to find the real scissor man. Alrighty. And I know just what we need. I see. Be careful. Helen. Don't worry. We got this in the bag. I'll be all right. We'll be fine. We need to go back into this room. Now, if we'd used that fireplace key, that one, uh, we would have come out in this room. And I'm going to save it here because sometimes this bugger does have a habit of showing up in this area. Yeah, you could easily complete this game in under an hour. Easily. So, if we'd used that key there, we would have come out in a hidden passage right here. And if you do that, you come out, you then come out into that church area. And we need to use this key on this box here. Are we using the wrong key? We are. And there's nothing you can do. Jennifer will always die. Now, that's what happened first time I did this bit. So we now have the map. Passage is drawn under the fountain. You now have the map. So now we know where the bastard's hiding. We need to go deeper underground. Okay. In there is just like a load of books. There's nothing you can do. But before we do that, there is one person we haven't found yet. And to find him, the... Oh, crap. Where's he coming from? Where's he coming from? He's going to come from that door, isn't he? No. Oh, nice. Okay, 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 okay. Cool, 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 cool. Let's go. We're going to get him with the same old trick again. At least we know for one thing. We're now being chased by the real McCoy. So let's get out of here. And we're going to mash some serious buttons. Mash, mash, mash. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. <sighs> Ever since I fell that time, I'm really paranoid about that now. Right. So we want to go through to this green room. But we don't want to go down the secret passage just yet. However, I guess we could drain the valve. But like I say, we don't want to go down here just yet because... There is one person we haven't found. And you cannot find this person uh, if you don't have the map. Okay. So we need to go back to the kitchen. And the kitchen is... I, get, I always get confused where the kitchen is. I don't have my map on hand either. Uh, no, so it's not through there. Where's the kitchen? We need to save the last guy. That, no. Okay, I think we need to go back through here. We need to go into the other hallway that's like this one. Maybe. Oh, no, no, no. I'm being an idiot. Sorry, guys. I'm being an idiot. I've done this quite a few times now, but I'm, st you know, I still get a little bit confused. It is quite a maze. Here we go. So there's the kitchen. Because we haven't found Tim yet. 
So we need to go in here. Now, <clears throat> I already knew that there was a wine cellar underneath here from when we played as Jennifer. And although you can search this, a square board has been fit into the floor. That really annoyed me. It's like, okay, so it's obviously there's something there. But you need to go here. Helen? Eh? There seems to be a switch at the back of the shelf. So there we go, we've opened the trap door. Now you cannot find that switch unless you have the map. I found that kind of really irritating. And then I came down here and I was like, well, we we can't actually do anything here. So what you have to do, you have to try and exit. Oh, what does that sound? Now we can look behind there. I, I find that... I, oh, shit! Shit! Okay. Oh, uh, hell. Um. Let's try that again. Tim's supposed to be behind there. Okay, something smells... Oh, can we... Ah, uh, um... Maybe we've left it too late for Tim, then. Maybe he's dead. Um... I... Uh, okay. Okay, so we can't save Tim. He may be somewhere else in the mansion. But I don't know where that is. So let's do this thing anyway. Let's finish this. Let's go back to the green room. We're getting a bit of emulation slow down here as well. I don't know why that is. It's very annoying. Right. So let's take this final path. The drain open. Oh, I can read that. So let's go down. Now this is the final part of the game. Once you go down here, there is no turning back. So if you if there are people you haven't saved, they're dead. Poor Tim. Ah well. Nothing we can do by it about it, I should say. I'm gonna save it here. What I should have done actually is um made several saves here because uh, I just I got a horrible feeling that this video is going to screw up again that would be very irritating so let's go through this strange door and what do we have aha there you are you little bastard you'll notice Kay's dead That voice. I didn't think you'd get this far, Helen. What Edward? a bastard. That is Edward's voice? Yep. You, you're the murderer? Yep. Let's play, Helen. So let's... Alright, let's ready our statue. I've got to be honest, when I um, originally played this game, I never suspected Edward. Never in a million years. Now we need to, there's a hole about 30 centimeters wide, so we need to dump our statue down there. Then we need to grab our piece. Take this, you prick. Open the door, love. Say those words. There we go. This strange vortex to another world opens. And we get the epic music. Oh no! Now there's still two endings that can happen. Oh, good old Gots. Now we need to spam the gun on Scissor Man. Come on. But it's not us that uses it. 
Now this is going to be the world's finest trick shot if he pulls it off. Come on. Now, apart from this game, I really don't know a lot about the Clock Tower storyline, so... Yeah, this whole castle and everything's pretty new to me. Oh, what a shot! Now, the B ending is the one that I got first time I did this. And that's where Helen also gets sucked out into the, into the void. And that's the end of the game, guys. No reason to get upset, is there, Teach? Not now. I don't think we can make it. Make what? I never. I don't get that line. I'm certain Jennifer is still alive. I'm sure she is. Hey, someone's there. Do the robot. Jennifer. Helen. Jennifer, you're alive. Yep. Helen. Nice. A ending. Should be, I think. Oh, don't you miss old CG? These FMVs were the stuff of legend. <sighs> well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you get to see this and it actually encodes and uploads properly. Um, I really enjoyed this game. I think it's fantastic. It's one of those games that's so cheesy it's good, you know. I, I hate to say it's so bad it's good, because it's really not a bad game. But it's very cheesy. Um, it's still very entertaining. It has a lot of replay value, let me tell you, because I have played this a lot this week. Um, yes, so hopefully that is this game finished and dusted off now. So we're going to skip this and see what rank we got. Yep, we only got six survivors because we didn't find Tim. And we got an A rank, which is the best rank you can get. So uh, there we go, not all bad at all. Okay guys, I've been SegaFan1986, I hope you've enjoyed this. And um, that finally wraps up Clock Tower. I'll catch you next time.